A man who's not human, Zion Williamson, had an electric game tonight. The New Orleans Pelicans beat the Brooklyn Nets in a game that was very much interesting, in my opinion, 130 to 108. Zion Williamson came out tonight. Didn't take any three-pointers, but had nine rebounds, four steals. Man was playing defense, 25 points, three assists, shot 50% from the field. Then Brandon Ingram led the way with 28 points, seven rebounds, five assists, a steal. Then he had Herb Jones doing his thing, being the glue guy. Didn't take, you know, didn't score as much tonight. He put, you know, he was just locking up the opposing guys. Kevin Durant. And Jonas Valanciunas did his thing. Double-double 13 rebounds with 15 points with a block. And then CJ McCollum, the point guard. Six assists, four rebounds, 21 points. Ooh, baby. And guess who's their six man who's been cooking? And we all knew he was going to come into this game continue to cook. Trey Murphy. This team's so deep that they have a 10-man rotation. Basically, 11-man rotation. You count Dyson and Daniels. But off the bench, Larry Nance Jr., Najee Marshall, Devontae Graham. Jose Alvarado, Trey Murphy. No one really could hit a shot tonight besides Larry Nance and Trey Murphy while Larry Nance shot inside the arc. Trey Murphy was shooting all outside of the arc. And I just I watched this game and I was just like, damn, that that was a fun game to watch. And for me, I think it's just the the start of this way. I was really, really impressed by what I saw tonight. And it was due to the fact that we got to see a team for me, I think the Pelicans, there there wasn't questions about Zion Williams being a you know a tough fit. I thought I think the questions more were around how will the defense look. And dude, the defense tonight looked solid. I mean, there was lapses at times, but they forced the Nets. I mean, the Nets couldn't hit a shot besides Patty Mills. Okay. Like they forced the Nets literally to go so deep into their bench because Ben Simmons, they made him look look bad okay Kyrie Irving you know had 15 points Nick, Nick Claxton and Royce O'Neal really couldn't get anything done it was really Kevin Durant and the Patty Mills show at times and I honestly thought from that I was amazed at how good the Pelicans look and the fact that we haven't talked about the Pelicans as legit title contenders might need to change because for me this is a team that's looking way more legit than people wanted to believe that they were and i know this is the first game but against a team like the nets that are supposed to be you know everyone was writing them as title contenders still and people were being not giving the pelicans the attention i think the pelicans just told everyone take a seat we're way more legit than you think okay and i i enjoyed it man i thought it was a great game it was something different first off trey murphy off the bench just gives a look and the team just has, you know, different types of player. Nanji Marshall, kind of a 3 and D guy. But you also have yourself, you know, off the bench, Devontae Graham. And just a plethora of guys that typically, you know, you wouldn't imagine on other rosters. But the fact that, you know, Trey Murphy, Jose Alvarado, Devontae Graham, they're the two guys that come off the bench. Okay, Trey Murphy's shooting guard, small forward. Nanji Marshall's kind of a small forward, power forward. And then you got Larry Nance, power forward, center. And they didn't even have to put Willie Hernan Gomez or Jackson Hayes in the game. And for me, I thought the interesting part about this was just how the squad looked, okay? And the Pelicans, I know Jackson Hayes is day-to-day, -day and Kyra Lewis Jr. didn't play, but I think this squad's a bit better than people are imagining. And I, I don't want to say like a rude awakening, but I definitely feel like this is a team that is being counted out for some reason and i don't know why i am actually like kind of intrigued to see your opinions but good team i want to hear your thoughts is there anything you wanted to hear more from me but that's basically it but peace out